Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. You now, don't you? You now. Right. I've just heard a little whisper of somebody in the know. Uh, that Callum Smith is in talks with Calla Sowland, aka Narcos. So, what do I think to that? I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, would I put it past Calla Sowland trying to sign Callum Smith? Uh, no, because he's got the same mentality as Eddie Earn. He's a winner. Uh, and these people like to win. It's not about pound notes for these people, although they like to get a few quid, don't they? But it's about winning. And if they can do something that benefits their promotional companies, well, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Uh, Callum Smith's not under contract to uh, Eddie Earn and Matchroom and Sky. He doesn't owe them anything at all. He probably does owe Callum Sowerland because he delivered him a world title, didn't he? And massive, massive paydays. So they've probably got a good relationship. Uh, Groves had a good relationship with Callum. Uh, do I rate Callum as a promoter? Yeah, he's not bad, is he? Is that Phil Collins in the playing the part too? Like a bit of Phil Collins. Uh, but would Callis Sowerland, even though he's a decent promoter at the moment, would he have made it without his old man, Big Willie Sowerland? Hey, would he have made it without him? I doubt it. Would Eddie Earn have made it without his old man putting him in position? Very much doubt it. He'd probably be still selling double glazing. But he had a leg up, didn't he? Same as the other one did. But you make the most of your hand, don't you? Not all of us have had a leg up, have we? So, but it is what it is, isn't it? But is it a good move? If it's true, this rumour that's doing the rounds around the campfire? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think, Call uh, I think Callum Smith and Eddie Earn, I think they came to an end when, once Callum went into that tournament. And I can, can I, I, sorry, I can see if Callum Smith works with Calla Sowerland, I can see Beefy going over there, Natasha Jonas, Callum Johnson, because I think bridges have been burned by Tesco Joe. I mean, I gave Tesco Joe the money, money, money for a few months ago, Waitrose Joe, but he disappointed me. He's gone back to being Tesco Joe. He's put his fighters in a unfathomable <laughs> position. Somebody said to me, where did you get that word from? He's put him in an awkward position, his fight. He's only because Eddie Earn's the only game in town for Tesco and Joe in the UK, isn't it? Can't really work with Bricktop, can he? Bricktop doesn't like him, does he? And he'll squeeze life out of him. And his ego's that big, isn't it, Tesco? I know you watch him. His ego's that big that he wouldn't be able to bring himself to go cap in hand. You know what I mean? He wouldn't be able to bring himself to do it. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, it's uh, boxing, isn't it? I see these groveling apologies. He's done three now, hasn't he? Groveling with begging bowl out. But say what you mean. I mean, I've just done an interview with Mark Tibbs. And the, Mark Tibbs is not frightened to say, have an opinion. And come on, Porky's Club. And I know I'm a bit of a renegade at establishment. But... A lot of them, they don't come on this channel, they oh, we don't go on there, and you ain't mine all way with you. No! Peter Fury's been on here, Mark Tibbs. What's the matter with resting you? A nice warm chair in my office for you. Or we can do it via Zoom. But getting back to Callum Smith, is it a good move? If it's true, yeah, I think it is. I think it's a great move. I think he's gone stay over here, the end. There's no love for them, is there? They run what they could out of Paul Smith, fed into Ward and, you know, all the people. Stephen Smith nearly lost his ear in one fight. You won't bother about that. They, they're sleeping like Eddie. Well, forget what Eddie Earn says. He slept like a baby that night when uh, Swifty Smith nearly lost his ear. What has he done for Beefy Smith? 
fed his sparring partner Eggington to him. You know, and Callum Smith's there with WBA super belts and ring magazine belts. Um, there's no for him, is there? Eddie's too busy hanging out at back of Dylan White and Chisora, who were both shot to pieces. He's just been iced, hasn't he? Dylan, for the second time. Chisora's got 10 losses, three of them iced. But yeah, all talks about them. Well, what's all that about? What is all that about? Is it because he wants to work with David A? Because David A's a mouthpiece on social media. I don't know. I think Beefy Smith, Callum Smith, Swifty Smith, Natasha Jonas, I don't think they do the talking on social media. They do it in the ring, don't they? All great fighters, they do it in the ring. But I don't know, Callum Johnson, he's not a, a talker, is he? He does it in the ring. I mean, he dropped Bithernia, well, beat me, whatever you want to call me. So I don't know. I don't know why Eddie Hearn's gone stay on them. But if Callis Howland is right into the rescue, the great Gatsby, he's, he's probably going to tell us he's got their best interests at heart. But he's got his own best interests at heart. I mean, because, as I said it before, and I'm going to say it again, promoters don't do best, mate. They don't do it. They might tell you that, but they don't. All right? If you get damaged, Injured in a ring, right? your massive nose for a couple of months, and they just go back to life. They drive by you at bus stop. So all you boxers out there, get it into your head. Promoters are not your best mates. You are like a cow, a pig, or a sheep to a farmer. You will all go to the slaughter eventually. Get it in your heads. Even pigs get tucked at slaughter, which I don't agree with. I love pigs. I love them, I always have done. But uh, it is what it is. Isn't it, Porky? <laughs> so peace out. Keep on shooting. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, Calla. Oh, before I go, I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing, sharing the video, and leaving a comment. All right? I've been told to say that. I've got to say that in the video at the beginning. Yeah, whatever. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah.